Uh, Olivia spoke with Kelly Ward, who is the chairman of the Republican Party here in Arizona, and she uh, further discussed the current state of play in the state. I think that it, it's obvious from this event tonight that Carrie is knocking it out of the park with every demographic in our state. She's leading in really every poll. Uh, Katie Hobbs continues to run, to hide, to... Um, to, to act cowardly. She, as, as Carrie said tonight, she's in a job interview. She's interviewing with all of us. And how many people have you ever hired or has anybody out there ever hired that didn't come to an interview? I'd probably say very, very few. We at the Republican Party of Arizona are doing a lot with Carrie Lake and with the campaign. We are working very, very hard on the field program, knocking on doors, making um, phone calls, making sure that we are reaching voters, not only to inform them about Carrie Lake, but now to drive them to the polls because ballots drop in just, I think, 13 days. And so people will be voting in about 14 days and uh, all the way through till November 8th. Do you have a statement on taxpayers paying for the legal fees of Katie Hobbs with her racism lawsuit? Yes. Well, I mean, it, it is a shame, but that's the system as it currently exists. So we have to be a lot smarter about who we elect to serve us in all of these offices. Obviously, we made a bad choice as Arizona for the Secretary of State in the last election. We have a chance to correct that, state, that mistake. We can elect Carrie Lake as governor and we can elect Mark Fincham into that Secretary of State role and have Carrie or, or have Katie Hobbs to be unelected and and out on her ear.